Today we're going to talk about time wasters because most of you out there are wasting your time with these things. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk directly about the time you spend, the time you invest into reselling. A ton of people out there are wasting a lot of their time while they're out, while they're sourcing, while they're supposed to be working. One of the biggest rules of reselling, in my personal opinion, is if you can't do something specifically when you're working for someone else, you don't do it when you're working for yourself either. If I can't talk to somebody or sit and chat for 10 minutes while I'm working for somebody else, I don't do it for myself. When I'm out doing my job, my reselling, I'm sourcing, I'm you know, running errands or whatever the case may be, those are business investments. That's business, my employment time. That's my hours that I have to put in to do this job, this reselling business. And when I waste them doing things that aren't productive during my business hours, I'm losing that time. Time is truly money. I make a lot more money when I'm on the ball, following my schedules, and not wasting time in other places. Now, I know I'm a big talker. I ramble a lot in some of my videos. But when I'm out in public, I'm all business. That is all I am worried about. I don't stop to talk. I don't stop to get a coffee. I don't stop to get anything. If I want something to drink, I bring it with me. When I'm out, everything that I'm doing is directly related to my business. If it's a business trip to get something, I'm only doing business-related activities. Now, I've had people say that I'm cold about that, that's impersonable, not talking to people while you're out. If I'm there to do something, I'm there to pick something up, or I'm there to accomplish a task, to earn some money off of it, that's my goal and that's what I need to do. If I spend 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, I stop to get a slushy or a coffee at a gas station every hour or so, I'm wasting a lot of time. I'm wasting trips, I'm wasting gas, the whole works. I know that may sound petty, but if, if you really want to get your business going off on the, the right foot, you really want to have as much income coming in off your business, you really have to knuckle down, I guess, and put every minute that you can into doing this. Again, if you can't do this activity or that activity when you worked for somebody else, don't do it for your own business. It's just good practices. It's not being rude. If you're out in the public and somebody wants to talk, tell them that you're in a hurry. You're trying to get so many things done before your day is done. You'll be happy to call them. We can talk later after you finish for the day. That's exactly what I do. People who know me or who have the same mentality, the same thought, they already know what's going on. Hey, how you doing? I want to get here. I want to get there. I want to get done with the day. I want to be home by five. Whatever, whatever you're doing, you set yourself some goals, some, some reasonable assumptions on how much time you need to invest in this. Don't waste it doing other things. Now, when I was a manager, one of the biggest wastes of time at most businesses was a cigarette break. Now, I smoked in the past. I haven't since I met my wife, but I've done it. I understand. I get it. But when you're running a business, uh, you know, you get a 15-minute break twice a day in an eight-hour shift. You get a 30-minute lunch time as well. You are supposed to get your activities done in those times. That's the rules of the game, you know. So I never waste time doing any of that stuff. If I can't do it in the car while I'm on my way to someplace, I'm not going to do it. You know, just plain and simple. Everything comes down to time. And if you're like me and you already work 70, 75 hours, maybe more. I don't, I don't know this week, but you're already putting a lot of hours in. You don't want to be putting in extra hours and getting nothing out of those hours. You should budget your time. You should honestly, honestly, and I recommend this to everybody, write down how much time you spent on each activity for just one week even, just one single week. Write it down. See how much time you stopped to do something that was unessential or not part of your business. You'll be surprised at how many hours you are wasting. Whenever I have done this, and I've done this as a group in Patreon before, all the folks who timed and kept track of their hours for at least a week or more were wasting hours of their week on stuff that was non-productive, stuff they didn't even need to do, stuff that they didn't realize they were doing. Now, if you work from your house, a big one that I hear all the time is somebody else will have something on TV. You'll go to take a break at a glass of water or something to eat or drink or something, and you're going to go ahead and sit down and relax and watch it in front of the TV. Well, five minutes turns into 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30. Pretty soon you're waiting till the movie's over before you decide to go back to work. It's too easy to slack off when you work for yourself. That is another big drawback for for a lot of folks. A lot of those who I hear that fail doing this aren't putting in enough time. They're not managing their time. 
they they feel more comfortable and this is no insult or disrespect to anybody everybody has their own feelings and thoughts on what works best for them a lot of folks feel like they need to have not necessarily a boss but something there to regulate their hours and their time now a lot of industrial think tanks and things like that mr wonderful from you know shark tank or something like that all state that two-thirds of the population won't succeed running their own business that means one in three will be the only ones that usually succeed in doing something again part of it could be the time frame not being able to manage your own time your own hours correctly wasting too much time because there's no boss telling you you need to do it so you feel like you can slack off or not put as much effort into it because it's your own business but it should be the opposite way I put far more time far more effort into my business than I ever did for someone else because I am reaping all of the rewards from this business I'm not putting in all these hours and then someone else is taking the lion's share of my hard-earned work I'm not making all this money for somebody else I'm making it for me so the more time I put in the more money I have more money I have the more things I can do the more investments I can put in and the more that my money grows to begin with the more money you have the more money you can earn it's just you know the the economics of reselling the more you sell the more you get coming back in that gives you more revenue more sourcing abilities because you have more money to source more items and this keeps growing at an hopefully an exponential rate where it keeps growing and growing and growing that's the whole goals of this but if you slack off you don't invest the proper time you don't think it's serious enough to you know stop sitting down on the sofa or taking a 15 minute cigarette break or running down to the store to buy a slushie because you got to have this or you have to go to Starbucks to get one of their coffee every morning and that's the only reason you're going out all of those factors cost you money all of those cost you time so you're double wasting money that way you're losing money for your time and you're losing money for the effort to go out and do it to gas and buying stuff like that keep your costs low obviously but you got to keep your time and you've got to put the time in to do this this is not a 20 hour a week job to have full-time revenue it's not even a 40 hour full-time week to have full-time revenue it's probably at least 60 hours for anybody out there if you want a full-time honest revenue that's going to support you and your family that's about what it's going to take you to be successful and to advance your business 60 hours would be my personal honest opinion on the needed hours that you will need to invest in this to be successful and to keep it going it's easy enough to have money come rolling in but it can be really hard to keep the fire going and you to keep your your motivation going in the right direction it gets stagnant if you don't grow it you don't expand it it gets stagnant when you can't grow your business you can't advance it a lot of people will give up just because of aspects like that it usually comes down to the amount of time though that you are putting in hopefully that gives you some ideas on your time again one more time write your schedule down write how much time you're spending on everything for at least a week it would be better if you did it for an entire month all the time you are wasting here wasting there you're spending on your business and you will be shocked at how much time you are just wasting on stuff that's non-productive you could be wasting an entire day or two out of a month all the time by doing stupid things or things that aren't productive the more you get done in the same amount of time the more time you have for free things family and whatever else you want to do with it family obviously is first but you've got to have revenue coming in but anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Sometimes you don't Almond Joy's got nuts Mounds don't Almond Joy's got real milk chocolate Coconut and munchy nuts too Mounds got deep dark chocolate and chewy coconut Ooh. Sometimes you feel like a nut Sometimes you don't Peter Paul Almond Joy's got nuts Peter Paul Mounds don't Because Sometimes you feel like a nut Sometimes
Sometimes you don't. 